With me is Senator Giulio Terzi. He has been the Foreign Minister of Italy in the past. So welcome to Beyond. It's great pleasure to speak to you here in Delhi. Uh, my first question to you is how do you see India-Italy relationship? Now this relationship has seen high level engagement. This year Italy holds the G7 summit and uh, Italy is going to invite India. I'm pretty sure on that. But how do you assess the relationship? It is a great pleasure and an honor to be here the Raisina Dialogue. It's a great pleasure for a number of reasons, but uh, let me focus on the reason why I felt uh, this year really not only useful but necessary for me and for the institution that representing here and especially the fourth committee of the Senate of the Italian Republic. Fourth committee is the committee which is entitled to deal with uh, uh, European Union policies mm -hmm. and therefore it is uh, strictly in, uh, in line uh, with the general purpose of Italian foreign, pol foreign security policy nowadays mm -hmm. to connect with the Indo-Pacific. Mm -hmm. That is a major point of European strategy and of the Italian strategy. Last mm -hmm. year Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni met here, was hosted by Prime Minister Modi and it was really a landmarking event for our country and I believe certainly for our bilateral relationship. A, a strategic partnership was signed after many years of partnership but there was really a further step, a very important step in the relationship between the two countries focusing on the major geopolitical concerns that our countries are facing together. And from that meeting and the number of very important commitment which have already been implemented over the last few months, mm -hmm. commitment in uh, trade and economy, commitment in scientific space cooperation, in connectivity, let's mm -hmm. say also construction of infrastructure mm -hmm. and possibility uh, also that is given to our both countries mm -hmm. to focus on IMEC, uh, Inter, uh, 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 India, 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 Italy, Medi Medi Middle East and, and the European Europe. Economic Corridor. Yeah. It is a fantastic uh, uh, objective to reach, which means really connectivity, and what means co connectivity? Connectivity about trade, business, but also the most advanced reality which pertain uh, to the high technology. Uh, look at data, look at the artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. also that is something which uh, in, entails uh, a strong participation and common vision between our two countries. So it is a fantastic situation from the political, uh, national policies and also from the geopolitical point of view, what our countries, Italy individually as a nation, very friend, 75 years of diplomatic relations were celebrated last year, mm -hmm. but very close friend uh, and always more connected to uh, India but also Italy as a prominent member of the European Union, the role that Italy is playing in the Mediterranean and the connection between, in geopolitical sense, but also in human ter in terms and from the point of view of history, recent history, mm -hmm. the connection between the Mediterranean space and the Indo-Pacific. That mm. tells a lot about what we are doing now and what has been Discussing, we are discussing here the Razina, Razina dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, essentially, India Italy relationship have grown leaps and bounds. But uh, when it comes to China, if you can talk about that, because China is one country which is seen as an aggressor in the region with India as well. How do you see uh, China? I'm asking this as well because uh, Italy recently withdrew from the BRI as well. From the major uh, organizations to which uh, uh, Italy belongs, uh, the European Union and uh, NATO, mm -hmm. but also other organizations, regional organizations, there is no doubt that uh, China over the last uh, years is uh, considered a, an important, very important partner, mm -hmm. at the same time a competitor from which uh, our countries sometimes have the impression to be considered as adversary mm -hmm. in geopolitical terms. Mm -hmm. China is engaged in a revision of the what is called uh, by, by China and by some other major player of the international uh, reality, uh, not only a revisionist uh, but uh, a, an entity which would like to change completely the international order. Mm -hmm. And there comes a, a strong consideration that I believe is, is important to remind from the original meeting between uh, Prime Minister Meloni and Prime Minister Modi. Mm -hmm. 
the fact that for sure the international order has to be revisited, mm -hmm. reviewed, mm -hmm. reformed, but must not be disrupted in any possible way. The international mm -hmm. order means not an order, a hierarchy, somebody who directs other countries. Yes, it happens in certain circumstances in other, in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. But the international order means respect for the treaties mm -hmm. that our countries have ratified, respect mm -hmm. for multilateral organization to which we belong, mm -hmm. respect for the rule of law, human rights, the equality and freedom, freedom of religion, freedom mm -hmm. of media and so on. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, the fact that both our leaders and our countries are strongly committed through mm -hmm. every initiative they are undertaking now, mm -hmm. in every realm that I've mentioned, economic, scientific, university, human, uh, people to people, mm -hmm. they are deeply engaged mm -hmm. in uh, implementing the international law, mm -hmm. implementing legality, mm -hmm. tells a lot about the importance of our common adventure mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure speaking to you here in Delhi. Thank you so much. Great pleasure and the best, all of you, the best wishes. Thank you. With video journalist Sanjeet Siddhan for Vion in New Delhi.